please be sure to use support the creator code justical when buying things in the item shop. I will give a shout out to someone who can prove they bought something with it in my next video. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Yo, what is happening boys and girls? It's me Justical again and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I will address another thing that has been asked in my comments quite a lot. How do you become better at editing on keyboard and mouse? Stay tuned to find out. Now remember, if you don't like the video in the next 5 seconds, then a Mac will destroy your house. Enjoy the video. Let's be honest, we all want to be Fortnite gods. We want to have god tier building, frosty ZK aim and editing speed like Mongrel. But most of us are far away from those goals and today I will show you how you can start working towards the editing goal on that list. I will give you 4 tips that have helped me improve my editing or that I am still working on at this moment. Because as you all know, your boy Justical doesn't have a lot of time. So my progression with editing will be a little bit slower than the usual 13 year old sweat that gets to play all day after school. Now these tips will be made from all the things that I have learned while switching from controller to keyboard and mouse and most of the tips will be personal mistakes that I made myself. And I truly don't want my mistakes to become yours as well. So pay attention. First of all, I want to begin at the basics because a good foundation leads to good results. And that is something I have backed up all this time. Whether it is aiming, building, or in this case, editing. Now the first mistake I made when I switched to keyboard and mouse was that my editing key was on left control. What that means is that I edited with my pinky. This idea came forward because I copied it from one of my friends and I wanted to have the oh so beloved optimal keybinds. Editing with my pinky meant one less action for my point. Finger. I still remember that at the beginning I kept saying to you all that my pinky was strong and used to it and that it felt comfortable for me. And that was the case until I had to do a couple of edits in a row, which caused not only pain in my pinky, but I also just simply couldn't do it fast enough. And that is my first tip. Make sure that you use a key that you can consistently and rapidly press, but also press for a long period of time. Everyone is different, but for most people that is their pointer finger. It can usually hold out the longest and press keys the fastest. A valid edit keys for this finger could be F, R, E, T or G, depending on how you place your hand. Now this is not something you have to do, but at least something to consider. Editing with other fingers could make your keybinds more optimal. Test it out for yourself and weigh out the positives and the negatives. Comfort versus optimizing versus speed. Go into creative, have your normal keybinds ready and experiment with your edit key. Use some normal wall edits and floor pyramid edits as the test. First of all, put your edit bind on a key that you can comfortably reach with your pinky. This could be left control, left shift, caps lock or even more keys if you play on RDFG like me. See how it feels and move on to your ring finger. Do this all the way from left to right from your pinky to your thumb. After you have tested out all of your fingers, weigh out comfort, optimizing and speed. You should be able to edit fast without getting pain in your finger and at least with some optimization. Here is a quick example of me editing with my pinky versus me editing with my pointer finger. As you can see, a huge difference. After you have found the perfect edit key, it is time to move on to the next tip. 
accuracy over speed. Yes, you heard that right. But just to go, Mongrel edits really fast and it works out perfectly for him. Well, we are not Mongrel yet, are we? The second mistake I made was that I tried to edit too fast at the beginning because I wanted to improve at editing really quickly. Heck, I even continued to do it until like last week. I even said it in my one week progression. But as you can see in the following clip, I literally missed my edit six times in a row. Try to be cool, try to be like Mongrel, edited way too fast, which resulted in me not hitting my edits at all. This is not the quickest way to improve. You have to build up your editing speed. Editing as quick as possible from the get-go will only teach you sloppy edits with lots of choking. You don't want that. So when you get into creative, start with all the useful edits that you know of and slowly execute them one by one. Once you can do them a dozen of times in a row without any mistakes, crank up the speed a little bit. Now this process will be a long one as your speed will only pick up over time the more you practice. But that is what makes Mongrel one of the best. He practices up to 8 hours every day in creative and you need to grind for improvements as well. Every time you're bored and you have nothing to do, go practice. With a game like Fortnite and all the special mechanics involved, you need to practice, learn and adapt a lot. It's not like Counter-Strike where you have to learn smoke spots and improve your aim. Here you have to learn how to edit, aim, build, position and move yourself around efficiently and then we're not even talking about rotations and all the different items you can work with. You see where I'm going at? Improving in this game takes some serious work ethic. I myself recently worked more on my accuracy of edits as well because I made a mistake by wanting to be like Mongrel so bad with its classic box fight move. I wanted to replicate his speed but I wasn't ready for it yet since I have never practiced it so my finger kept hitting the spacebar causing me to jump and messing up the edits. Now I practice it at normal speed and it goes way 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 better. Here's an example. Take notes and don't be as stupid as me. On to the next tip. And not only accuracy is more important than speed, making the right edits are also more important than speed. Laziness has been my next mistake. Because from the beginning I always learned to edit my walls with a triangle instead of an arch. Not only is this way less efficient, it's also something that no pro player does anymore. It might be quicker, but you have less space to get out of a box and less space to peek at someone inside a box. The best solution is to always practice four tile arch edits instead of those damn triangle edits. I became really quick at those bottom triangle edits, but they are just way less effective. So now I am resetting my muscle memory again and practicing the edit the right way. Yes, I just wasted 6 months of practice and editing speed to now have to relearn it the right way. Don't make my mistake and learn all the useful edits that the pros use the right way from the beginning. This way you improve the fastest way possible and you will not get a setback like me halfway through your progression. Keep in mind that this not only includes bottom triangle edits but could also include things like editing in a small circle instead of a big one and editing from different angles. Because the last thing you want is getting stuck behind a door for the 10th time because the storm is in your back and you get pressured from the front. I'm pretty sure everyone has been in that situation. So after you practiced all your essential edits and you feel satisfied for the day, quickly go over a few edits in other positions. It will help you out, trust me. And I almost forgot, by editing in a small circle you gain a lot more speed than editing in a big one. It's a small improvement, but it helps. Learn it right from the beginning. And on we go to the last tip already. Now my last tip is not something you don't know already, but something that most people tend to forget. Muscle memory is the key to getting faster editing. I've already said it before, but the only way you get better and faster edits is by practicing them in creative. Only this way you build up muscle memory. Mongrel is just such a perfect example of this because he practices every day for 8 hours and look at the speed of his edits. It's unbeatable. Now you don't have to put in the same 8 hours, but at least put in some serious time and practice concentrated. That way you will get miles ahead already. But also be careful that you don't practice too much for too long. You should stop your practice before you start to tire and get sloppy in your execution. That will only set you back instead of move you forward. Also break up your practice in multiple parts. Take every step of an editing sequence and concentrate on every part until you can flawlessly execute it. This will help you build up that muscle memory the quickest. But be careful! Muscle memory can be your greatest friend, but also your biggest enemy. Once again, learn things right from the beginning, because it remembers mistakes in the exact same way as it remembers the correct technique. Hence why I'm stuck with my lower triangle edits. And at last but not least, be patient. 
Don't get frustrated, it takes time. Stick to your goals and the practice and you will be the one on top. I'd love to see you at the next World Cup. Anyways, these were all the tips I had for you that I learned throughout my progression. They might be simple for some of you, but I just want everyone to know these as I see way too many people making the same mistakes. Besides that, I truly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. It would be appreciated as always. Now I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.